What's, what kind of update can you give us with Pluto technology, especially the roadmap side? Sure. You know, uh, Pluto, you know, uh, Sante has been working on uh, commercializing Pluto technology in the last five years. And uh, because it's, uh, it's very important for us to have clear roadmap, you know, and to uh, produce solar cells in a commercial way over 20%. Okay, so in the last 10 years, uh, in, sorry, in the last five years, we have been able to uh, commercialize, you know, first generation Pluto technology. So now in our production line, we are routinely produce a monocrystalline silicon efficiency above 19%, and, um, you know, multi-crystalline silicon solar cells above 17%. So our second generation Pluto, you know, we already produce solar cell efficiency over 20% in our pilot line. So our goal is to produce, you know, 22 to 23 percent, you know, based on second generation Pluto technology. Let me emphasize, it's very important, you know, we can increase solar cell efficiency, but most importantly, we should be able to also control the manufacturing cost. So, so I think that is, uh, uh, you know, merit of Pluto technology. And, and is uh, that kind of long lead time from the time that you know the development work started, uh, you had a slower uh, manufacturing ramp, but I'm, I'm assuring that it's because you really needed to drive the cost down. There's no point in, in ramping something that has a high cost, exactly. even with the high efficiency. Yes, so like uh, because of the ramping you know, time, because we need to care very much on manufacturing cost, yield, reliability. So these are the issues, you know, extremely important for new technology to be commercialized. Thank you